Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try this Kahiki General Tso's chicken. It is lightly breaded white meat chicken with steamed white rice, broccoli and carrots in a zesty Asian style sauce. And it includes a chicken egg roll. So it's a bowl and a roll. So there's the picture, there's the egg roll. So calorie wise, 530 calories for the entire package. That includes the, the egg roll itself. And there's your sodium's pretty high, but half your sodium in one meal, it's okay. Um, all right, so the cooking directions. They uh, only have microwave directions, which is fine with me because that's all we do anyway. Matter of fact, it says do not prepare in a toaster oven or conventional oven. So we're going to pierce the bowl. Uh, we're gonna pierce the film four times with a fork and we got a pretty good microwave, so we'll probably do four and a half, we'll probably do somewhere in between, then stir halfway. So we maybe we'll do two and a half and then two, that, that'll probably be good. And then once that gets done, because you usually have to let that sit for a minute, you take the egg roll, you remove it from the plastic sleeve, put it on a microwave safe plate, and microwave it for 110 to 130. I'll probably do 120. And yeah, so that's it. So let's see, it does have a pull tab on the top. Uh, we bought these at Walmart. Now they sell these all kinds of places, but all, this particular one came from Walmart. It was 282, which is, I don't think that's too awful bad for a meal. Okay. So there's the egg roll. And these sometimes don't want to come out of here. They like glue them in the bottom of the box. That's what they come out. Sometimes they, they flap this plastic in the fold of the box and you can't get this stupid thing out. So I'll poke some holes in here, get this one microwave, and then once it comes out, I'll microwave this one and I'll be back. All right, here it is out of the microwave. And um, I think there's one good sized piece of broccoli and there's a teeny tiny one somewhere in here. So. Yeah, it's like right there. I mean, it's there's not much broccoli in here, but they uh, give you quite a bit of chicken and like, like plenty of rice and stuff like that. So that's that. And then here's the egg roll. I cut it in half so you can see it, and it is kind of falling apart. It got wet like on the bottom, so it's kind of falling apart. So I kind of flipped it around after I cut it in half just to let the let the moisture uh, maybe does, uh, evaporate out of it a little bit. So anyway, I'll let this cool off for a minute, and I'll be back. Okay, it's had some time to cool off, so I've got a bite. I've got that one big piece of broccoli, um, a piece of chicken, and some rice that just fell out before. Back on there. Okay, so here we go. I actually like the taste of that broccoli. I wish there was a little bit more in here, but there's not. Um, this has a little bit of spice to it, like a little, a little kick to it. It's not overwhelmingly spicy, but it definitely has a little spice in the back of your throat. Pretty good, pretty good. It's got um, a little bit of a sweetness to it, um, a little bit of a spice to it, I like that. The chicken, it's not bad. The breading kind of got um, mushy a little bit. It did kind of get squishy, but it's not the end of the world. It's not bad, by any means. It's good. Um, I wish you could really get, I wish I had more of a, I don't know that it's soy saucy kind of flavor, but it does it doesn't have that. And then again, maybe it wasn't supposed to. Um, but it does have a good flavor. So let me have the try the egg roll. That's pretty good as well. You can um, you can really taste the cabbage in there and the uh, um, you get the the seasonings and the the chicken, you can taste it. Um, I like the, the shell, although I wish it was a little crisper. Of course, most egg rolls are deep fried or baked, um, or if you're reheating them, they're baked. These are microwaves, so they're not quite as crisp as, as I like them, but they are, they're still, it's still pretty good, and it's still, it's still somewhat crisp on the bottom, it's just, or on the top. But, um, I mean, it could use a little bit more crispness. Yeah, you can really get that cabbage flavor. So, egg rolls are good. Not awesome, but they're good. Um, the General Tso's chicken, the actual meal itself, again, is good. Is it awesome? I don't know. I've had I've had some really good um, Asian meals, including from this brand. This one's probably not the best one from this brand that that, that I would like, that I would get again, but that's still really good. I'm gonna give this one a four. It definitely has the flavors to it. Um, has some layers of flavors that build on each other, which I really like. The textures are good. 
Um, my only complaints about it is the it's a little sweet and salty or uh, spicy, and there's not a lot of other flavors. But um, I mean, there are, but it's not like wow you flavors. The chicken dress, the breading is a little mushy, and the egg rolls are a little soft. And really, all you get is a cabbage flavor in the the flavor of the actual shell itself. So um, yeah, overall, I think it's a good meal to try out if you like General Tso's chicken. But um, you know, not something I would get again. So I'll definitely stick with a four. So hope you enjoy this video, and thanks for watching.